you know, over the years I've gotten so used to using electric equipment on the boat that I think a lot of fishermen take it for granted how they power them properly. For example, I'm using a bow mount electric trolling motor, which even in these calm conditions is giving us precise boat control over the structure break where the walleyes are holding. I'm using a hummingbird sonar here and on the console. And then of course we have a big engine that we need to crank over when we move from spot to spot. The electric trolling motor has two dedicated 12 volt deep cycle batteries and they're literally under my feet right here. So it's the shortest distance to run the cables to the actual plug that where the electric motor is plugged into the control right here. The two sonars, the one that I have in the front and also this hummingbird right here, the 1197, the big one, are actually hooked up to one battery which is the cranking battery and so is all the instrumentation which also works the live well and so on. Now that cranking battery is a 12 volt battery and it's located in this compartment that's very easy to get to. So you can see the marine battery. Now the cranking battery has to be charged enough because to crank over a V6 engine like this 150 Yamaha, you have to have a very powerful charge. You should be able to start the engine on the first or second crank. The reason that this battery should be easy to get to, number one, you have to check it for the fluid levels to make sure that if the battery has sat, or some of the fluid has evaporated, you might have to top it off with some water. The other thing is that every once in a while, especially when your boat is in storage and you haven't used it for maybe a month or two, even though the battery when it's being operated with the electric, with the power motor, the motor actually charges the battery when you're running. But if you haven't been running the boat for a while, you should always put a trickle charger on and try to keep your cranking battery above the 50% charge. In the old days, they used to say, let the batteries go right down, especially deep cycle, and then charge them up. That way they won't have any me memory. Well, the modern batteries are designed that they should be charged continuously. So either by the outboard motor, in the case of the cranking battery, or by chargers in the case of the deep cycle batteries.